All right, in this video, I'm just gonna very quickly show you how to construct a scatter plot in Excel, how to find the trend line, how to find the R um, squared value and the R value. And in the previous video, I show more details, so the link to that video is in the uh, description of this one. But um, once again, the purpose of this video is just to kind of walk through it quickly. So um, first thing, how do we do a scatter plot in Excel? Um, go ahead and highlight your data. Okay, um, and then go up top here where you see insert, press insert, press on your on this down arrow to see scatter plots, and press this one here with the scatter plot. Okay, so here's our scatter plot. Highly recommend that you always um, include labels for the axes. So um, to do that, press on your scatter plot, and um, you'll get this nice ribbon with all these format options for your um, for your chart. Um, quick layout, this first layout here, under quick layout, this first one right here is, is really good, okay? Um, so go ahead and label your axes, X and Y, okay? Um, close that, and then you don't usually need a legend, so you can delete that, and then rename the title, something that makes sense uh, for your data. Okay, let me close that. Okay, so once you have your scatter plot, um, go ahead and highlight on um, the data by just kind of clicking on one of the points and then right click on the point. So it has to be on the point. If you right click anywhere else on the chart, this isn't gonna work. So um, once you've right clicked on the point, then you'll have this option for add trend line. Go ahead and press that. Okay, and then scroll down and click on display equation on chart and display r squared value on chart okay then go ahead and close those format options and then look for where excel put it it always puts it somewhere it's hard to find it so once you find it move it somewhere that you can actually see it okay so there we go this is my trend line so this is the trend line you see here and this is the equation for that trend line and this is the r squared value Okay, so a lot of times when you have um, you know, two variables, you not only want to know what's R squared, but you also want to know what's R. Okay, quickest um, way to find what R is, uh, is actually just to use equal, and then Excel has a uh, formula called corl, C-O-R-R-E-L, double click on that function. Um, and once you have that function pulled up, then highlight your X data, press comma, and then highlight your Y data, and then close parentheses, and press enter, okay? So that's your correlation coefficient. Now, if you have R squared, you can find R by just taking the square roots of that. So to do that, you would say equals SQRT, open parentheses, and then take the square root of whatever R squared is, so 0.8872. Now, if you use this method, if I press enter, you need to be really careful. Notice that this is positive, but the correlation coefficient should not only tell us the strength of the correlation between X and Y, but also the direction of that correlation. So here we see that there's a negative relationship, right? This negative slope, right? This number in front of X is our slope. So there's a negative slope. So we have a negative correlation. So we would need to recognize that and say negative square root, right? If it was a positive slope, then you would have just left it positive. So two different, that's two different ways. You could either use the correlation um, function or you, you can use the square root function. But if you use the square root, you do need to be careful about your sign. All right, so that does it for this video. Uh, once again, if you want to see more details, uh, more of a discussion behind the meaning of all these, uh, you can see the, the video in the link um, in the description of, the, of this video.